Nam the Kano is live in Federal High Court, Abuja, today, right now as we are speaking. Now the court is currently on recess, but this is what happened this morning, early this morning. The judge, the lawyers told the judge, Justice Bintanyako, that, Ma, you cannot try Nam the Kano while he's still under the DSS custody. And this is what the judge said. Now, the judge, because of the fact that the, the Supreme Court has ruled that Nam the Kano did not jump bail, and that his bail conditions should be restored, the lawyer said, Ejimako, a lawyer Ejimako said, told the judge that, Ma, you have to either grant Nam the Kano his bail, as he, you, he was enjoying it before the, the army invaded his house. You have to grant him that bail, or grant him complete house arrest. He can be in house arrest, or grant him his bail so he can move freely and still be attending this case this uh, trial then the judge said um i can i'm going to rule on whether he will he will continue his trial under the dss custody or not i will rule on that but not today now the um, the, the 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 after she said that she now said again that anyway that the trial we have to continue today because we are already seated today we will continue the trial today but later i'm going to give my ruling on whether the trial should continue under the DS while he's at the DSS custody or not. Oh, now, this is the point. Do you remember that this same judge has told the DSS to allow Namdi Kano to change his dress? It is over seven, uh, three years now since Namdi Kano has been on these same clothes. Until today, the DSS has refused him from changing these clothes. His medical uh, condition is still there, it's still a big, a big challenge. They don't care. And if you watch today, Namdi Kano is not looking too good. Probably because this matter is becoming rough. And I don't trust the DSS handling Namdi Kano while he's still on, the, on this trial. Now, if you all remember vividly, this case of bail or no bail, it was the same judge, Justice Bintanyako, that granted Namdi Kano this bail, was it in 2017? He was enjoying this bail before the army went to his house, invaded his house. He narrowly escaped with the Supreme Court recognized that that invasion was illegal and also said that on that basis, for the fact that he was only escaping for his life, then he did not jump bail. And if you remember, when this thing happened then, back then, they told the, the shorty, the guy who stood as shorty, the man who stood as shorty, the senator, Enyinayabaribe, to provide the Nam Dekanu. Enyinayabaribe told them, how do you ask me to provide somebody I stood shorty for? Then you went behind my back, under you broke all the you broke all the agreement, all the laws, went to his house and tried to even take his life. Right now, you people, I should be asking you to provide my client who I stood shorty for. Now, on that basis, you should already know that this was part of the reason why the Supreme Court ruled that Namdi Kano did not jump bail and his bail conditions should be restored by the same court, which is the Federal High Court Abuja, which is still the judge that is still sitting there. So I wonder why Justice Binta Yanko will say she cannot rule on that today, but still want to continue with the trial today. It's okay. In her wisdom, she thinks that's the best thing. No problem. But what I will say is this. I do not trust the DSS handling the Namdi Kano while the case is ongoing. I advise this Justice Mita Nyako not to even think twice about this and give her ruling on that immediately. This man deserves his bail immediately. He deserves to either be placed on house arrest or restore his bails. The law should be the law. We shouldn't be... Pay I don't know how you guys are twisting the law. Anyway, more updates are coming because currently they are on, the court is on recess.